today is Monet and Whitaker's last day with us. It's adoption day, Momo. You excited? You, no idea. Couldn't care less. Who's over there? Moose, you gonna say goodbye? Close enough? Whitaker! There you are. There's Whitaker. Well, Beats living on the streets, right guys? Thanks, Al. <laughs> Don't bite the phone! Monster! All right, there's a Moses problem now. Don't bite the mic. Or the receiver. What you doing? Money. Yeah, for those who don't know, um, that's Anara. Uh, Monet came to us with. Uh, a big eye infection. Or I know, sorry. She she had had an eye infection and the shelter um uh removed both orbs. Or she still had infections in there uh, and we had to deal with all of that, but yeah, she is completely sightless with no hope of ever getting her eyes back and we found an amazing adopter um to take her who is willing to deal with the, you know, having a, a blind cat and you know, the, I would say the kid gloves that come along with that, but Monet does not care one way or another that she, she can't see. She thinks she just can do everything. She, I assume one day she'll jump onto a thing like this at some point. Where is she? Yeah, there she is. She is fully abled. So sight is not a limitation or lack of sight is not a limitation for her. She is pretty amazing. This one has some brain issues, I think. Little little cuckoo in the clock. Just kidding, Ma a wit. Just kidding, ow. <laughs> um, and that's Bear. And again, Inara. Ooh, uh, um, so yeah, it would be nice to, I guess, not have kittens in every single orifice of the house. That's not a good expression. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we, aside from these two, also have, wait for it, Mama Itza and the Kaya kittens. There's one mom and seven kittens. I think there's only six right there. One's hiding over there. It's a lot. There's a lot of cats happening right now. Hi, what's up? Yeah, I'll be in soon for our Monday coffee and cat chat. Don't worry, I'll be back. Remember guys, it's meow or never to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be, join our podtastic community. Did I read it good? Good job, Moose. Um, so yeah, that puts us at 170 cats plus fostered in the past six years. Uh... And it's, it's been a lot recently, like 10 fosters and four house cats is really just a lot. 
Hi, Aria. How's it going? Um, yeah, I'm drawing a blank on what else to talk about. I know Janine had asked a long time ago to get um, a look at our cat shelves in the living room. So here you go, Janine. Let's take a step back. No cats are on it right now. Um, but yeah, so there's our very crumply, dirty love seat area. So this is where Bear likes to just jump from here to there. Then you got the box. There's two mid shelves there. That's also an entry point in that high one. And then another box over there. Uh, generally, cats will go from here to here and then this way to the cat tree and down or boom to the box and then down here. Um, so there's the full setup. We could add more, but like, honestly, when we got to this wall, like this wall where all the shelves are, we will, we were able to find, um, you know, all the studs when it came to this wall, this thing reads like it's completely empty. It is a fake wall. There's nothing there. And we're like, honestly, I don't know if, uh, it would hold. Like, we've been lucky with this. I think because the door is there, there's some stuff there, but that's blank area. Um, Monet would like to wriggle around, but she would also like to thank everyone who donated to her personal uh, fundraiser and sent in items off the wish list and subscribers on our Twitch channel and Patreon. And bye, I'll just do this without cute cats. That's what people want to see. This is so cute. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who uh, has supported us on her. We fulfilled her entire fundraiser, and now we've moved on to our fall food drive fundraiser, which was primarily set up to feed um, Mama Itza and the Kaya kittens because they are ravenous and going through so much food every meal um because they're no longer really nursing like a little bit here and there but for the most part they've weaned they're getting four meals a day which is a lot in itself um so yeah you can head over to cuteavalanche.com slash food drive uh to contribute to that or uh, uh join us on patreon.com slash cute avalanche to do a reoccurring monthly uh, subscription donation, which we really appreciate all of that. And there, there is most of the people who do the Patreon just do it for the ability to do a set it and forget it kind of donation. But we do some limited unreleased content there as well. As that community grows, I'm sure we'll put more and more focus onto unreleased content or behind the scenes stuff uh, that is specific to the Patreon. Um, it's very small right now, so we'd love to get more members over there, and then we'll put a little more attention to it. And now, enjoy uh, these uh, awesome clips. Hey, what do you, what, what do you want? But I'm doing my segment. Hey, enjoy these clips from our Twitch channel. Thanks, guys. It's good to, look at me. Look, look at me. So yeah, we're trying a little bit of a new format. I've done some vlog stuff in the past, but I'm hoping I can do this on a weekly basis, if not a monthly basis. You know, I always intended to take our um, cat chats from the Twitch and now YouTube channel, because we're multi-streaming on all of the platforms, and turn those into VODs. It's just not easy enough. Um, I, I think we're going to be able to do it as like sort of clips, but without really polished audio and and... Um, edits. I don't know that they'll be quite as interesting. So if you like this format, please like this video and comment on it and uh, let me know. I'd love to know what things you want to know about our foster cats and us and what we do as fosters and all that stuff. So please leave comments. Um, 
And if you haven't already, yeah, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really helps us out uh, and uh, helps the algorithm know that you like us and other people like you should know that they like us stuff. Cool? Hey, give me that Lego man. He's too young to die. Uh oh.